What's up, Randy Dandies? Today I'm going to show you how to make this secret entrance to your underground base that you have. Now, I saw this on a buddy of mine's game, and I figured that I would break it down and show you guys how to make it. So stay tuned, and I'll show you guys everything you need to know. All right, what's up, McAndies? Today we are going to, like I said in the intro, be making that cool... Um, underground open door base thing that you saw in the intro. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to find a nice open area that you can build it, uh, preferably an area that already has hills, so you can kind of make it look natural in the environment. Now, you can do it in a sandy area, um, but it's preferred that you do it in a um, like wilderness area like I'm in. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting out a 4x10 area, 4 back 10 wide of um, the area that I want to put my system. Now you can do it more than 4 long or uh, wide, but after that I mean it really gets pointless. Uh, it's just more to cover up in the end. Now after you've cleared that area out, you're going to want to go to the 2 on the furthest edges and cut those 2 out one more deep so that it's a total of 2 deep. And you're going to want to do that on both sides, like I'm doing here. Now, I recommend you do these steps in this order, simply because it's going to be easier to um, finish it up and move around. Uh, so now that you've cut down that other one, you're going to want to put redstone uh, repeaters down, like I've done here on the first block closest to the inside of the 10x10 area. And then you're going to want to put redstone on the back of these. Now, we use these because the... the, uh, the Wow, God, I'm stuttering like a bitch today. I'm sorry. Uh, so it puts the current into the back of the pistons that we're going to put on now. Now the pistons just go like this and face them inwards. Make sure they face inwards. They're not like this because that's not right. That's just not going to work. Anything that's going to work, then, uh, well, you should go back to school. All right, now that we have the pistons down, we're just going to place whatever block uh, matches the surrounding around you. Now, obviously, if you're in a desert, you're not going to use grass. Wow, did you see how fast that turned green? Okay, uh, you're obviously not going to use grass. You're just going to use, obviously, whatever block matches the environment that you are in. So now that we have all of it wired up, we are going to take the uh, the wires from both of them, and we're going to connect them together. Now, that's done very simply by cutting out a pathway between the two of them and linking them up. Now, the reason I did too deep where the wires were and not one is simply because um, it'll be a lot less to cover up in the end. Actually, actually, let's rip that up. Okay, so now you're just going to link the wires between the two together. And effectively, if I put a torch here, it should activate the two. And it does. Okay. So you can see that simply by doing that, it will close or open the circuit. And thus make it extend. Now I'm just going to put repeaters here so that we don't lose the current halfway through the uh, cycle and one of the pistons does or doesn't uh, retract. Alright, so now the area between the pistons is actually going to be where your base is located. Now at this point you can just dig down um, and make a nice descending staircase into your base uh, however you'd like. Now you can see conveniently enough that mine is actually located over a natural dungeon. Um, so we're in luck, and I won't have to dig out this whole thing. Um, so after you've dug that whole thing out, I like to typically rip this up so that you don't hit your head when you're trying to jump up it. There we are, that's nice. Okay, so now that you've got that done, you can see that when I place a redstone torch here, it will effectively close it and make the entrance hidden. And so by removing the power, it will again close it, or open it. So you can get down in and then hit the button on the inside to close it like you saw in the intro. Um, now what we're going to do is make the system that switches between the two. And now when I say that, it's going to be a system that is going to allow you to, with a simple press of a button, uh, alternate between the open and closed states of your base. Now to build this system, you're going to want to um, open up a 4x4 area. Uh, preferably near your system so that you don't have to use as much redstone. And in that 4x4 area, you're going to want to go 4 deep. So we're just going to go ahead and dig down all the way. 
and then we can build our system. Now, this is especially good for if you're on a server with like a lot of people, and you don't want them finding your stuff. Um, you can do that in this, and you can also um, just hide stuff under the ground on a server that is yours, and you have friends occasionally come on it, and you don't want them getting at your diamonds and shit. So, that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, yes, I do realize it's getting dark, so I will sleep here in a minute, but let me just show you this real quick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dig a hole underneath the already four deep um, area, and we're going to put a redstone torch in there, and then we are going to place a block on top, along with a normal piston over here, and a sticky piston. Oh, I'm struggling. And a sticky piston on the other side, like... Not like that, like that. And I'm actually just going to jump my way up out of here, and I'm going to sleep, and we will continue in the morning. Uh... Now, I know I'm pretty good at that whole high pitch thing, and I do take um, great comfort in knowing that if I needed to act as a female, I could. So uh, that's one thing more you know about me that you didn't before. All right, so now that we've have the system half built we are going to put another dirt block on top and one off to the side and on the sides of both of those dirt blocks we are going to place one torch two torch and then two pieces of pretty pretty redstone now you can clearly see that that is lit up and that is because um, it is the the signal from this torch is being sent up through this block and into this wire here now you can see that by pushing this button I can uh, effectively toggle the on and offness of the said output. Now all we need to do is connect the output to a um, to our system over there, and then we can get this thing rolling as it should be. So now all I'm going to do is dig out a path from where our redstone is currently. I don't know why I always have the most uh, dirty cut walkways for redstone but after we're done here nobody's ever going to see it so it doesn't really matter all right so now that we're over here i'm just going to connect our system to the um, alternator that's going to alternate between the on and the off and then you can see effectively by putting a button on here or you can hear i'm not going to walk over there but you can hear as you heard there um it will i guess i will walk over you can see that it is open or closed and then by hitting it again you can simply shut it off um, I'm sorry that I keep saying open on and off but um, it doesn't really matter you know what I'm talking about so as you can see now it's closed again because I accidentally hit it when I was breaking the button now all we need is the on and off switch now try and find a discrete location for your on and off switch you don't want to broadcast the entrance to your hidden area because that wouldn't make any sense and I would probably call you a dumbass. Alright. So, and I'm actually a dumbass because I'm putting this only one down. Okay. So now you're going to want to obviously dig down too deep to hide your redstone circuit that you are now building. For the um, button that activates it. Now this button will effectively open it. And you will have a button on the inside that will close it. And uh, it will work out very nicely because once you are on the inside you can close it from the inside and also um, open it so it works out very nicely now I'm just going to do something like this so that I can connect the wire and that actually broke through doesn't really matter um, and then we're just going to connect the wire to the button now by connecting redstone to this you will be effectively able to toggle the uh, on and off this of the output so anywhere connecting it so for the um, inside switch we're actually going to connect it right here it doesn't matter how you connect it as long as the redstone eventually connects to the hub area which is here now I'm going to put a couple of repeaters down just because in the past I've had trouble with the signal completely reaching okay that's overkill uh, with the signal completely reaching the designated obviously on and off switch oh man I just burped sorry about that and uh, it should work out a-okay now so if I hit this button we should be able to hear 
that it opens, and it did, or closed one or the other. Oh, you can see it's open, and now if I hit the button again, it will effectively close it. And bam. As you can see there, our entrance is now hidden and inaccessible. Now I'm going to open it up simply so that we can put the switch on the inside and finish this baby up. I failed. Uh, and finish this baby up. What the hell? Did I break some wire? All right. So for God's sake, uh, I think the problem was that this game just glitched. Um, there was nothing that I did differently. Uh, I think it was just the fact that we either have too much fucking wire or something. Because I don't know. Uh, it's the exact same as it was you saw before. The only thing I did was move that over. And uh, even then before I put the button there, it still wasn't working. So I, I don't know what is going on. Uh, it must be just I'm overloading the game with redstone. Uh, would be my only guess. So anyway, it should work alright if it doesn't. Just try removing one of those torches back there. And it should eventually start working alright. So that's the outside button that we have done. And now we need to do the inside button. Now the inside button is done the exact same way. Um, all you need to do is I'll put the button, say, right here. Is Now you just need to connect this to that hub panel thing that I showed you a second ago. And then it should... Work out alright. Now I kind of find that for me at least it's easier just to, uh, let me connect that right there. For me just to try and dig down into there to find where it is as opposed to trying to, that's not going to work, I need to stay up. As opposed to trying to uh, find it from down below. So I am going to go sleep and then I'm going to connect these two and I will see you guys once I have these two connected. Oh, alright, so now I've got it all wired up. You can see that by hitting this button, it will close the doors. And by hitting it again, it will open them. Just like that. Now, sometimes it can be kind of tricky to wire it up. Uh, just keep playing with it and you'll eventually get it. I find that I have better success with it uh, all wired up to the second block over, meaning the one that's floating. Um, originally, when you make it above or the one closer to the non-sticky piston. Uh, just because when I had it here, it was glitching up, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, it just must be a glitch in my game. But this should all work alright, so like I said, you can just see I've all wired that up. And now all we have to do is cover it up, and we'll have all sales and not per the master piece. So uh, I will cover this up, and I will see you guys once I have all this covered up. Now, just a quick note before I let you guys go. Um, fuck you, sheep. These animals are the most annoying things whenever I'm trying to do this. Alright, anyway, so now what you're going to want to do is just try and make it look as natural as possible. Now, that might be hard to do given the environment you picked, um, to which I say, bro, you should have picked a better environment. Um, I mean, there's really not much else I can tell you. Just make sure that you don't hit or cut any redstone wire in the process of closing it up, simply because that would be bad. So just close it up, make it look purty, real nice and purtified, and uh, I will do that now, and I will see you guys when I, I do that. Ah, and it's also worth noting that you should uh, cover this up during the time when these are extended, so that you can uh, place blocks on top of them and know exactly what it is you need to cover up. Um, and yeah, so I'll finish this up, and I will see you guys then. Alrighty, so there you have it. Um, a secret opening door mine thing that you can go into a mine and be all secretive and shit. Uh, please don't sell meth out of your basement and then tell the cops that I told you to do it. Uh, I'll have to hurt you then, but I still love you either way. Uh, now, obviously, you can see this is pretty damn obvious, and I'm just going to do that simply because it is 12, 18, and I'm tired as a bitch. Um, but you saw in the intro that I, when I did this the first time, I actually filled up this entire area to make it look more natural with the uh, entrance. Now, if you didn't see that or you forgot or whatever, just go back to the beginning of the video and you can see it. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That's all for me here. Um, like I said, you can just hide your button. Hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your button. 
And uh, that's that's it for me, you guys. I will see you guys all next time. And let me know if you like these kind of video tutorials. Bam!